What's going on, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, straight to reviews, baby, in the house. Happy E3 2018. Get ready for these games to drop, drop, drop. Now, what I got right here in my hand right there is Shaq Fu. Hey y'all, Electric Reborn. Now the reason why this game is called Electric Reborn because it's reborn into the modern gaming world, which is right now for all the new school gamers. And all the old school gamers, we already know back in 1994, Shaq released this game. Hold up everybody, before we continue this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that bell and that check mark so you won't miss out. Subscribe. First for Shaq Fu on the Super Nintendo and also the Sega Genesis where graphics didn't even matter. Well, we just played it because the game reminded me of Streets of Rage. You guys remember what Streets of Rage is? Give me a like on this video. Give me a comment on this video. Now, we is back with The Legend Reborn. Now, this game has a bunch of references. Icy Hot, you know, Shaq's powers with the Shaqtus. It reminded me of Plants vs. Aliens, by the way. You know, when you uh, got your powers of Shaqtus, you just throw out, like, uh, cactus spines. Then he has Shaq Diesel's big robotic suit on. Uh, Shaq Diesel is actually a um, alter ego from his album, you know, released um, back in, I think, around 1994 under Jive Records. He released a, a, a rap album called Shaq Diesel. And um, I got to tell you guys, I had pretty, pretty much fun playing this game because for the simple fact is that I like the style of it. And it is a little bit of generic style here and there. The game is like about, I say, almost about two hours. It has about, let me say, about six stages, with some of them has like three levels. And uh, I think only like two of them had like, you know, four to five levels. And then once you beat the game, that's about it. It really doesn't have any replay value. And you can see this game like later on in the bargain bin at the dollar store. But overall, y'all, it is, you know, not really, really a game keeper, but it's pretty, pretty a beat em up side scroller fun game to have. Jack put his own money into this type of game because, for the simple fact, is that, you know, it had that old, old school type of retro feeling and 2D all mixed in. And, and it had like some nostalgia up into it. And it had some Crash Bandicoot, you know, type of references going on when you hit the boxes and all that. It had that little bit of like Bruce Lee type of feel. You, you guys remember that game, Bruce Lee on the Xbox? The first first Xbox thing, and also a little bit of Afro Samurai mixed up in there. Now, what I didn't like about this game, and I'm gonna tell you guys the truth, is that I got over overcrowded of these same type of enemies and getting stuck and getting glitched up and here and there. And I kind of felt like when I played this game, I got a little depressed about it, and I was like, I don't want to play this game. I felt like I just wanted to give up. And I told myself, I said, no, nah, I just want to actually just keep going through this game to see what Shaq is bringing into this Shaq Fu uh, Legend Reborn game. And then I just kept going, going through it. And then what made me play it more is because for the simple fact that when I got to the boss fights, the boss fights was very, very unique and fun because I don't know, it's just the way they were, you know, drawn up and, you know, had their own little, you know, personalities in the game. What made me want to keep playing to see what was, you know, more about this uh, Shaq Fu game. It was kind of slow and kind of stiff here and there. And, but uh, I gotta tell you guys, uh, for the price of $29, it is right on the spot. It is a little type of generic type of game, but it's actually fun, like I'm gonna tell you guys. And you can and you can also get this game for the Nintendo Switch for $39. Hey, uh, why is the game $39? That's because you guys already know that they, you know, put these games on cartridges. Cartridge games are, are more and more expensive than a disc-based game. And uh, like I said, y'all, you can actually go pick up Shaq Fu if you want to. Um, you know, maybe there's going to be a, uh, a Shaq Fu Legend Reborn too, because like when I beat the game and got close to the end of the game, you know, there was some, you know, uh, uh, a reference of Kanye West. And I thought after I beat the game, I was going to fight Kanye West. I, you know, found the, uh, the normal mode to be too, too easy. And, um, uh, also, uh, Shaq was of course, you know, overpowering the enemies and stuff. And the enemies didn't have any chance against, you know, <laughs> Shaq, you know, up in this game as well. But overall, y'all, the game is okay, but it's fun, you know, for like this newer generation. And also it's 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 fun for the you know the old school generations that are you know already accustomed to the old school um, game that came out in 1994. And like I said, y'all, this is my review of Shaq Fu, a legend reborn. And like I said, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe to the straight up reviews and happy E3. Day,